and Xinhua, and a PhD candidate from the Department of Chemical Engineering and Technology, Kenny University in China. This paper was done by the collaboration of Professor Yuan's group from Tianjin University and Professor Dale's group from Michigan State University. The goal of this paper was to uncover the limitations in zealous formatting yeast during the co-formation of glucose and zealous in the presence of lignocellulose developed inhibitors. Accordingly, a comparative metabolomics was performed on a zealous formating yeast for 2 4 a and its parent soon 4 one 2 4 with or without three typical inhibitors, perforal, acetic acid, and phenol. As shown in the figure, according to the sugar consumption portion, the fermentation was divided into four stages, and the samples were taken respectively. From the fermentation results, it was found that the growth of strain 4 2 4 a was more sensitive to inhibitors. There is no use in glucose and zealous co-fermentation, then glucose fermentation was also absorbed in strain 4 2 4 a In addition, zealous utilization was more significantly decreased by inhibitors than glucose utilization in strain 4 2 4 a in order to understand the metabolic response of strain 2 inhibitors, PLSDA analysis was first used to obtain a global comparison of metabolite profiles of the two strains. Further analysis found that strain 4 to 4 a had the lower cap capability to buffer reduced changes caused by inhibitors which involved in the metabolism of chitterals, cadaverin, glutamate, and gamma aminobutyric acid. The lower acid in strain 4 2 4 a was considered to be involved in the generation of xylitol accumulation of oils, as well as reduced the levels of amino acids. The metabolomics results also point out that Zellos catabolic pathway and energy supply were the limiting steps in zealous formation in the presence of inhibitors. These results provided new insights into underlying mechanisms of limitations on the glucose and zealous co-formation with or without inhibitors and also improved the opportunities for further engineering zealous metabolizing yeast. So, I'm looking forward to your comments and all the things of this paper. Thank you.